So you've spent weeks, months, maybe even extreme cases, years creating your very own online course. And finally, it's finished and it's ready to start selling. But before you can make any money, you need to create a great sales page that is going to help you to convert as many of your online course website visitors as possible into happy paying customers. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Let's dive in. and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Ryan Ford and I teach online coaches and course creators how to scale their sales while working less. Now in this particular video, I want to show you how to create or craft a sales page for your online course or any type of digital product that you offer in order to convert as many people as possible who visit that particular sales page and convert them into a paying customer. Now to show you how to do this, I'm going to be using a platform called Teachable. If you are unfamiliar with Teachable, Teachable is an all-in-one platform for digital product creators that hosts everything for you from your your website to your sales pages. It also handles payments for you from your customers. It's pretty much or simply an all-in-one platform for digital product creators, especially online course creators. And you can try out Teachable completely free to get a feel for how it all works. Now to do that, you can simply click the link that is somewhere up on the screen or down below in the video description. And if you do sign up for Teachable using that link, you will also get a free copy of the Digital Creator Startup Guide, which is a downloadable guide that I created, which shows you in a simple step-by-step -step process how to build your very own successful business selling digital products like online courses or coaching services. I have built my own six-figure business selling digital products. I've taught thousands of people inside of my own courses and I've coached hundreds of people on a one-to-one -one basis how to do the exact same thing. And the entire process is laid out for you inside of the Digital Creator Startup Guide. So if you sign up for Teachable using my free link, you'll also get a copy of the Digital Creator Startup Guide as my way of saying thank you. Okay, so let's move on and talk about how you can create a great sales page using Teachable. So once you've created a free Teachable account inside of the Teachable platform, you're going to go down to this tab here, which is the courses tab. And then um, to, to make it to simplify things, we'll click on the new course tab here. We'll create a new course. Okay, so firstly, you would put your course title. So we'll just call this test course, uh, select the author, Ryan Ford. We will continue. Your course has been created. Okay. So this is where you would upload all of the information for your course, like the videos, downloadable PDFs, whatever your course uh, material contains. But you want to go over to the pages tab. That's the first thing we're going to want to do. Uh, you've got a page title here. We are going to add, click on add a new sales page. Okay, so it's going to upload uh, the standard template, which Teachable already has in place. And this is why I love Teachable, because even for the most untech savvy, if that even is a saying, person, if you don't know anything about computers, you don't know anything about coding or website creation, it's literally drag and drop, plug and play. It's very, very simple to, to edit, to upload images, to add text. It's really, really simple. So if we go through what is currently here, you're going to have your banner, then you can have a button here, you're gonna put your course title. So if we click on the banner option, this now allows you to, you can replace the image of your banner, you can add alternative text if that's something you want to do. So you can see the title of your course here right now is example banner. So let's just say this is a, your course is called test course, and then your subheading here, which is something I'll go on to explain in a minute exactly how you should lay your course out. But this is where you can create a subheading. So uh, welcome to my test course or, you know, whatever you want to write to let your students know this is what's referred to as your hook. So this is where you're going to give your website visitors details and try to hook them, pique their curiosity and get them to continue on reading further on down the sales page. But this is where you can add that sort of text. You can play around with that. You can change the image. So if you click on the replace image tab here, you can select a file from your own computer to download, or you can use Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Facebook, Instagram, custom source. They also somewhere, I'm not sure if it's on the web search, they have a load of stock images that you can use as well. So let's just say your course was around weight loss. If you type in weight loss here, and then whatever comes up, these are stock images that you could use. So let's just pick one for an example. 
Okay, well, let's try something different. Let's try. See if we can find something. Okay, haven't been able to find one with fat loss, but hopefully you get the idea. You can have a look. This will search the internet and give you some options. Otherwise, you can use um, files from your own computer. You can go onto Facebook, Instagram, OneDrive, Google, those sorts of things. But you can change the banner that's already here to whatever you want it to be for your course sales page. Now, if we go backwards up here, you'll see these little blocks here. These correspond to sections of the uh, template that's already in place. So you've got an image with text, which is this woman here. Then you've got example image with text, and then you can put your own block of information. So if we click on that, you can make the image layout from left to right. You can switch them around. So that will swap around. You can change the image, like I just showed you how to do a moment ago, upload your own image. So this would normally be where I would put an image of yourself, um, explain to your students who you are and what it is that you teach inside of any particular course. You can have the image linked to a URL, something that I don't do, but you can do that if you want to. And then you can put your um, heading text here. So example image with text, hello123, just to give you an example, that would then change this. And then further on, you've got the text here. And if you alter that text, this text will be altered alongside that. So if we go back up one more, you can see that the following information is a block of text. You've then got a text with image grid. So you could put, this is where I normally put my student reviews. You can then put the student's name and what they're saying about the particular course. You can change the images here and you can move these around as well. These are very, very easy to play around with, move around with. Like I said, it's very, very simple. It's just simple drag and drop, plug and play. You can add elements as well. So if you wanted to add a new block, you can add an image, you can add a text block, you can add a button. And then with that button, you can send it to a particular URL. So it could be, if you wanted to add two buttons for two different price points for your course and they have different features inside, you can do that. Or you can set it up to go to your own website. If you want to do that as well, you can get to head off to any URL that you want to plug inside of that button, or you can get just to go straight to a simple sales page inside of Teachable. You can scroll along here, you can add a video. Now, if you are a tech whiz, unlike myself, you can add a custom HTML. You can also add email lead forms. So if you want someone to visit your course sales page and then have an email lead form pop up where they can get certain information, like one of your lead magnets, and you can try and capture their email address and then do some email marketing from that. You can do that as well. You can then also along here add images with text, banners, text with images, grid, pricing points, and featured products. That is where you would add particular blocks. And then like I say, you can move these around to get them into any sort of formation or order that you want, which is something I'll get to in a minute and show you exactly how to do. But this is why I love Teachable because even for somebody that has no idea of what they're doing, you can come along, you can add images, you can add text, and it is literally just drag and drop, plug and play. It's really, really user friendly and it's a great place for anybody who's looking to sell digital products to build their entire business on. So now that you know how to use Teachable, let's talk about the most important elements that make up a sales page and what a sales page needs in order to work. Step one, like I mentioned a moment ago, is the hook. So when somebody visits your course sales page, the first thing that they will see, if we scroll up top here, is the title of the course. Now this would be followed by a subtitle, which is your hook. The job of the hook is simple. You want to grab the attention of the person reading the hook so that they want to read more. It's very straightforward. So as an example, for my own flagship course, which is called the Digital Creator Academy, my hook is, what if you could build an automated income from the comfort of your own home in just 30 minutes per day? That is my current hook. Now, people who find themselves on my web page, which is almost always through my organic content, they will already have an idea of what it is that they want to achieve, which is making money online by creating and selling their own digital products, such as online courses. So I created a hook that is speaking directly to those people by asking them a question that I already know is exactly what they are looking to achieve. And what this does is confirm to the reader that they are in the right place. And if my hook has done its job, it will entice them to want to read more. You need to do the exact same thing on your sales page. The first thing that every visitor on your page needs to see just below your title is a hook that grabs their attention and entices them to continue reading on. Because if you don't have a good hook, you will lose the attention of a lot of people before they even begin to scroll down your sales page and take a look at your product. So step one is the product title, 
followed by an enticing hook that captures your reader's attention and entices them to want to continue reading further on down your sales page. Now, directly after this, I like to put a video. More and more people, especially these days, are becoming more accustomed to watching video content instead of reading. So for all of the people who prefer to watch video, shoot a sales video, which is basically going to be a video version of your sales page. Break down what your product is, break down who it's for, the benefits of buying the product, and all of the other details. Make sure you put all of those inside of this sales video. So anybody who visits your sales page they can click to watch the video, they can get all of the details this way, and then they can decide whether to buy the product or not, rather than them having to read the complete sales page. People have short attention spans, so including a video on the sales page, it just helps to keep those people engaged. Now, directly under the video, there should be your first purchase button. Do not only have one purchase button at the very bottom of your sales page, which forces people to scroll all of the way to the bottom before they can buy your product. Some people will watch your sales video and they will make their mind up. Some people will be returning to your sales page, having visited previously, and they've made their mind up and they now want to buy right away. So make sure that a purchase option is there for them rather than forcing them to scroll through the entire page to get to the bottom before they can then buy the product that they are looking to buy. Now after this, and this is the most important part of any sales page, this is where you are going to include testimonials. If you only take one thing away from this entire video, make sure it's this. Include testimonials from your current customers. They can be in text, they can be in video, which is even better, but they need to be there. There is something so powerful in showing people on your sales page what current customers have experienced with buying your product. And there is no better way to showcase how good your product is than to show potential customers what current customers have already experienced after they've bought your product. If you, if you think about when you buy a product on Amazon, or let's say that you're going to buy a new car, or if you're buying clothes online, or whatever it is, I'm willing to bet that the vast majority of you check out the reviews from other people before making a purchase decision. It's, it's human nature. We naturally feel more comfortable and we naturally feel more secure if we can see that other people have purchased something and they have good things to say about it. So always, always share customer testimonials and reviews for any product that you offer on its sales page. Once you have done this, I would follow up with explaining the benefits that the product will provide the customer. Most people make the mistake of listing features like, hey, my course is 30 hours long, it's 50 hours long, it has 200 videos and 100 PDFs inside. Don't do that, okay? People want to know what's in it for them. How will they benefit from your product? Not just to hear how good your product is. So list the benefits that explain how your product will improve your customer's life, how it will make them feel. Always talk about benefits and not so much the features. Now moving on from the benefits of your product or service, I always then like to answer either common objections that I know some people will have, or have an FAQ list, a frequently asked questions list, with the most common questions that people reading your sales page might, may have. So whatever your product helps people to achieve, what are the most common questions that potential customers would have with regards to your product and how it works? Whatever they are, you want to address those. Now this is to help to neutralize any self-doubt in your customer's thought process. Like for example, if they may be thinking to themselves, well, this isn't going to work for me because of X, Y, Z, whatever that thought may be. So do some research and figure out what the most common thoughts that your potential customers may have and address those thoughts. And the final hurdle is to have a money back guarantee in place and to make sure that your customer cannot miss it. I don't know where this started, maybe from all the idiots and scammy people creating garbage in this industry, but for some unknown reason, people either don't have a refund policy at all or they point blank just refuse to talk about it unless somebody brings up a complaint to them. For almost every product that you could think of in your day-to-day -day life, there, in 99% of cases, there will always be some form of a refund policy. So if a customer buys a product and it either wasn't what they expected, or it's broken, or they simply have just changed their mind, there is usually, in most cases, some form of a refund policy in place that protects them and gives them the opportunity to get their money back. 
have a refund policy in place for your product. For all of my digital products, I have a seven day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. Anybody, absolutely anybody, they can buy my product, they can watch every single video inside, they can download every single resource, and if they are unhappy within the first seven days, they can send me an email and I will give them every penny of their money back. Nothing shows more confidence in your product than when you have something like this in place because you're basically saying to that customer that it's truly risk-free. And I know that most of you watching this will be thinking exactly what I was thinking when I was first taught this, which is, but that means that anybody can just buy my course or my product, watch it all and then get a refund. Yes, it does mean that, but it's very, very, it's a very rare occurrence. I know you'll be thinking that everybody who buys your course or product will do that, but they won't, okay, believe me. All this does is tell your potential customer on your sales page that you are so confident that they will be happy with your product that it's virtually risk-free for them. It reinforces that you're not one of those course creators who's created or peddling crap and tricking people out of their money with no way for them to get their money back. And it can be seven days, 14 days, whatever you decide, that's not really important. What is important is that it's there in black and white and it tells everybody who visits your sales page that you're the real deal. And if anybody, anybody is unhappy, they can get their money back. Having this in place really does help with converting people who are sitting on the fence because they feel that they can trust you completely now that you've offered them basically a risk-free way for them to buy your product. So decide on a refund policy that you feel is fair and make sure that it is unmissable on your sales page. And then finally, wrap it up with another purchase button that is directly below that refund policy. That formation is how to craft a great sales page for your digital product that will convert visitors into happy paying customers. It's not going to be fancy font. It's not whether your sales buttons are blue or red or you know in what sort of order your text are and your images are. That doesn't matter anywhere near as much as what people think. The most important thing is it's about showcasing your product, piquing the interest in potential buyers, showing what your current customers are saying about the product, telling them how it will benefit them and their lives, and then finally reassuring them that they have the protection of a money back guarantee if they feel that the product is not for them. Super simple, very straightforward. I've built a six figure business selling digital products with simple sales pages that do just this. And I've taught thousands of other people how to do the exact same thing inside of completely different niches, every niche that you could think of, and it works wonders. And I've done that using Teachable. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you want to try Teachable for free, it really is a great platform. If you use my link, you will also receive a free copy of the Digital Creator Startup Guide, which will show you how to build an entire business around selling your digital products. Now, the link for that will be somewhere up on the screen up here, and again, also down below in the video description, if you are interested. Now, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, take care.